it's Maria here from HockeyTrainingPro.com. I'm a hockey strength and conditioning specialist, which means I help you do the right training off the ice so you can dominate on the ice. Duh. What I have for you today um, are actually three exercises for your biceps. This is really just so you look good in the locker room when you take off your shirt. Uh, not functional. Is not going to give you really a harder slap shot, <laughs> but I know that I know it's secretly what you want. Here you go. I'm going to give you three biceps curl variations today because actually I think maybe they can help you a little bit. Um, so the first one is just your regular biceps curl, and I want you to get this one right because if you go into any gym, you see people butchering like this exercise, which is so simple, butchering it to death. So if nothing else, just do it properly. So if I'm in your gym, visiting your town, you're not slowly killing me or killing my soul by watching you. So we'll start here. Palms are facing my sides. I'm standing up nice and tall, shoulders are back. I'm curling straight up. As I curl up, I'm turning my palms toward me. See how my elbows are staying right at my sides. So, and, and that's where they stay. It's just a pivot at my elbows. My elbows don't come forward like this. So if the weight is here at your shoulders, you're doing something terribly wrong. Your elbows don't fold like right up like a jackknife. There's a little angle in there, There's, so that should be there at the top. This is where you should be. Um, if you have trouble with it, go with your back to the wall and keep your elbows touching the wall, and that will help you out. This other variation of biceps curls, um, you'll notice that you feel it a little bit more here in your forearm, which actually I, I don't mind. I'd almost rather you use this kind of exercise to strengthen your forearms than do the old wrist roller uh, that we used to do back in the day. So this is called a hammer curl. You're going to keep the dumbbells at that angle. So you're going to keep your palms facing one another rather than turning your palms up as you go. So at the top of the movement, you're going to feel this working a little more and this lower part of your biceps working a little bit more. That's, that's the difference in what you're going to feel. The third bicep variation I have for you is called a Zotman curl. So I do just a normal biceps curl. So I turn my palms up on the way up. I get to the top. Now what I do is turn my palms away and come back down. So I curl up, turn them away, and lower them all the way back down. I don't corkscrew on the way down. I turn and then lower. So you are going to feel a lot in your forearms. So again, another nice eccentric forearm strengthening exercise. I also like it because it shows, it exaggerates how much wrist or forearm mobility you have. If you're only getting to here rather than getting to here with your wrist, you know you're a little bit limited in that forearm rotation. So there are three bicep curl variations that hockey players can use, we'll say, to get a blistering, fast, hard slap shot and a quick release. But really, it's so that you look better in the locker room when you take off your shirt. Hey, quickly before you go, uh, if you like those hockey exercises and you want some more, just click here. I have a nice little program put together for you with videos and tells you how many sets and reps to do and all that stuff. So uh, just click here, um, enter your email address because I just need to know where to send it and I'll fire that right over to you uh, via the interwebs. If you like this video, give me a, a thumbs up um, and leave a comment. Let me know what other topics you want me to cover or you know if you're looking for skating speed or core stability, whatever. Leave a comment, let me know and uh, I'll put together a video for you. This is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com. I'll catch you next time.